We're here at the Northeast Astronomy Forum. It's the 2017 event in Suffern, New York. It's probably the most busy I've ever seen it. And we're surrounded by thousands of amateur astronomers and non-amateur astronomers, people are, that want to experience the wonder of space exploration and astronomy. And this is truly ground zero. This is the number one place to come to in all the world to see all the greatest gear, uh, to see all the telescopes and eyepieces and astronomy cameras. And the thing that you're going to experience when you do come here is you're going to find out that you are somehow connected to the universe. I see the wonder of excitement in people of all ages. You're going to see little kids here, families, teenagers, young adults, and of course, older guys like me. Everyone is interested in the universe, and when they see something like this, and they see the telescopes, and they see the gear, their minds reel with all the possibilities of what they can see and what they can explore, how far things are out in space. And what grabs their heart is the possibility of exploration of the universe. They know they're gonna go on a journey that's never gonna stop, and the Northeast Astronomy Forum here in Suffer, New York, is ground zero in our solar system to come and experience all of this. While there's a universe of things to see here and experience here, I want to take a few moments to share a few things of what we brought to the Northeast Astronomy Forum. Scott Roberts, he's really terrific, telling you about Explore Scientific. He travels in an illuminative streamline, living like a hermit, he's one of a kind. John? Hey, Scott, how's it going? Uh, it's not going good. Uh, I thought uh, we were going to um, do this video for Neef, and well, I, I don't get it. What, what are you doing here? Uh, dude, you are not even getting it. I mean, what am I even looking at here? It's, I, I don't get it. Okay, well this has got to be fixed right now. Right now. Hi, I'm Scott Roberts from Explore Scientific, and I want to show you all the new things that we brought to NEEF this year. First, let's talk about the new PMCA go-to system from Explore Scientific. It's here mounted on the G11 equatorial mount from Los Mandy. The PMC-8 itself can either be wireless or wired. It has an open architecture system, meaning that the software, all of that is now open source. We have a system that uh, is easy to use, and um, let's take you point by point. Point one is the PMC-8 electronics console itself. You'll see it has a little antenna on the back, and there are ports for the right ascension, declination, also for updating the software, there is a CCD auto guider port, and there's a um, signal that shows you, these lights show you uh, that whether it's powered and whether or not we have communication. The stepper drives on the right ascension and the declination axis offer really quiet operation. And that's typical of stepper drives. But the real benefit of the stepper drive over DC servo drives is that stepper drives will never burn up your electronics if, let's say, that the cord gets wrapped or if the telescope hits the wall of an observatory, which can happen. It will just sit there and make kind of a groaning noise, but your electronics are safe, your gears are safe, and also, very important, the motors are safe. The Los Mandy G11 mount is an amazing mount, very stable, can hold a lot of weight, and it's precision. We're looking at plus or minus five arc seconds periodic error, and with that kind of drive system, you're now in observatory class tracking ability. 
In addition, what we've done is we've added Los Mandy's RA spacer to the mount, and this allows the mount to clear over the meridian so that the telescope can slew constantly all the way through the meridian when you're making an astrophotograph. And also the RA spacer allows the mount to come apart. So now you have two relatively lightweight pieces, so it makes it easy to disassemble and assemble in the field. The Lasmandi G11 mount head is mounted on top of an ultra-stable Lasmandi tripod. It's fully adjustable, huge diameter legs, very, very stable, and stability is where it's at when you're making critical measurements or if you're doing astrophotography. The ED152 airspace triplet in carbon fiber is mounted on top of the G11. Here you see it with a CCD camera attached onto the back. The ED-152 is a fantastic astrograph as well as a visual instrument. With six inches of aperture at f8, it makes an amazing image of planets, deep sky objects, star clusters, double stars. It comes with a precision three-inch two-speed focuser and has a removable lens hood. Next is the PMCA on the Exos 2 GT mount. It has all the sophistication of the PMC8, but the thing that's really amazing is its price point. This is less than $1,000. The Exos 2 also has stepper drives, just like the G11 system has. And I think that's one of the great features that you'll find is how quiet sounding this system is. The Exos 2 mount itself has an open shaft on the polar axis, and here we can put a polar alignment viewfinder that makes polar alignment a snap. The Exos 2 mount is mounted on top of a heavy duty field tripod, so it is a very robust, uh, very steady system on this mount. On top is uh, Explore Scientific's ED102 airspace triplet refractor. This telescope is extremely lightweight, it uh, has a retractable dew shield, it has a two-speed, two-inch focuser, and mounted on top of it is a 8x50 correct image finder. This has an illuminated reticle inside, and the crosshair is, is open in the center, so it won't cover up the object that you're trying to observe. All right, okay, uh, look, but how are we gonna end this video? Okay. Scott Roberts, he doesn't eat meat. When he sees spam, he could stink. He'll tell you about his telescope. And if you ask nicely, his microscope.